Okay, this video is about how to build this drop zone content in Final Cut. If you don't have access or don't need or want to go to an external application like Photoshop or Motion or something else, you can just build this right in Final Cut. You can start out here in the nether regions, past your storyline, add a gap, add a title or just put the title at the end of the storyline. Make your design. For this one I think what I'm going to do is just show you a couple of tricks real quick. Uh, center the character and increase the size. Most of the size of the canvas is going to fit in that small area of the patch, so you can keep that in mind as you're designing for size. I'm going to duplicate this. I don't really need to duplicate it, it's just that it's already set up for centered and the font size, and that makes it more convenient and align it and disable it temporarily and to keep this short I'm only going to do this once so I'm going to go in and find a Unicode character I already have these set up in my favorites and since the text is selected in the canvas then double click to insert the Unicode character I'm going to disable the bottom one now and change the font for something scripted looking. Okay, that'll do. And this will increase the size. And for this, we are going to go into the video tab. I'm going to cut the character into the, the bottom part by going down to, I think it's Silhouette Alpha. There we go. And select the Transpose button down here so I can just click and drag this around the screen. All right. I have my design. Scale back the dot somewhat. Uh, text. Like that. All right. So now. Uh, what I need to do is make this a compound clip because that's the only way I'm going to get both of them into the drop zone. So with both of them selected, Option G. And I'll save this. And I have a compound. Now I can come back into my original lower third here. Title. Select the uh, PNG patch design clip. Select my circle W and it's applied to my patch. Apply the clip and my logo design has been applied to the patch. Now you can do this design for like all kinds of things but just keep in mind you want to keep it black and white. If you go with a black design you will might want to change this here from design white based by offsetting it to be uh, black based. I mean you can use this like that if you want but it just looks more natural if you've got it to where the leather looks burned in. Okay that was a quick tutorial to handle designing something right in Final Cut. As soon as you're done with the design whether you used a compound clip or not you can just delete it from the storyline. Uh, if you didn't use a compound clip you just used a single layer of title, then it will just disappear from your project.
but not from the drop zone. Okay, it will stay. Uh, for example, I have these others that I did earlier, and none of those are in the storyline anymore. Okay, let's not get that far out. So that's a quick and dirty way to create uh, these little patch designs in Final Cut. I hope you find this useful. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.